Samsung's new Galaxy Note 4 is all but stealing the show here in Berlin. How does it compare to what many have considered one of the best Android smartphones today? I'm Taylor Martin with Pocket Now, and this is our show floor comparison of the Galaxy Note 4 and the LG G3. We've now reviewed the G3 in its various blends a few times now, and every time we've determined that it's a fantastic smartphone, and as far as we can tell, it's a very nice match for comparison with the newly announced Galaxy Note 4. Internally, the differences are slight. Both come with Quad HD displays, though the G3's is a 5.5 inch True HD IPS Plus LCD, and the Note 4's is a 5.7 inch Super AMOLED. From what we can tell, the Note's display is much warmer and vibrant than the G3's, but it also has a much wider brightness range. Both phones also come with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of storage, though the G3 also comes in a version with 2GB of RAM and 16GB of storage. The G3 has a 3000 mAh battery while the Note has 220 mAh more, and both are removable. Both primary cameras are optically stabilized, but the G3 has a 13 megapixel sensor and the Note 4 boasts 16 megapixels. And the Note 4's front camera is a wide angle 3.7 megapixel camera, the G3's isn't nearly as impressive. Finally, the Note 4 has the newer Snapdragon 805 with a higher clock speed. The G3 has the Snapdragon 801, a respectable chip in its own right. With a tether on the Note 4, it's more difficult to judge its weight, but it's taller and wider than the G3, and it's much heavier, 176 grams compared to 149. Truly the biggest hardware difference though is the S Pen. This is a tool that unlocks a lot of additional functionality on the Note 4. The Note 4 also has a fingerprint scanner, the G3 does not. The build and designs are dramatic contrasts from one another. The G3 is built with a wing design made to look like brushed metal. It's almost entirely plastic. The Galaxy Note 4 introduced a new metal band around its edges with a soft touch leather like backside. We had no problem saying the Galaxy Note 4 certainly feels like the more premium device of the two. The software between the two is actually very similar. Samsung has lightened the load with TouchWiz once more, introducing a toned down interface with transparent widgets, a simpler settings experience, and new multitasking features, like pop-out windows and a better multi-window. The G3 software also comes with script the G3 software also comes with a split screen view, but it's definitely more limited. The appearance of the G3 software is more neutral and can be tweaked more out of the box. In other words, TouchWiz on the Note 4 comes with a handful of newer features and advanced functionality, but the LG UI has a fair amount of utility as well. If you're not after productivity features that are pushed with the S Pen, the differences between software are few and far between. The Galaxy Note, however, is a more feature-packed option. It has more premium hardware and an integrated extension of its hardware, the S Pen. But that's definitely not enough to determine whether this is a better overall phone. For that, you'll have to wait for a full comparison in the near future. Keep it locked on Pocket Now for more comparisons straight from the show floor here at IFA, and stay tuned for full comparisons and reviews of these devices in the coming weeks. I'm Taylor Martin, Casper Tech on Twitter, and I will see you next time.